baby I've been thinking about ya And all the things you said that other night I can't get you off my mind You're giving me a glimpse of Something that I can't get enough of What are you doing tonight? Is it a bad thing that I wanna know? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're back in my bathroom with another hair tutorial. Mm -hmm. So you wanna know how I got these curls? I'm about to tell you how I got these curls. I'm gonna tell you, I used the new Volum Endless Waver Iron. And you can see it here. This is your on and off button. I have it on the highest heat setting and you just press once you turn it on the button to change the heat setting and then to turn it off, you just hold off and then just press to turn on. And it has this nice rubberized texture. This part right here, it does get warm, but it does not get hot. Like I can touch this and not burn myself. So if it touches my face, I'm not gonna burn myself and have a spot that looks like a hickey. Ah! Yeah, we've all been there, we've all done it. It's no bueno. <laughs> You're really, you're not gonna burn yourself when using this, even when you touch it on the sides where, where the plates are opened. Like, guys, no burn. And you can see it's on the highest heat setting. It has 400, or has 320, 360, 400, and 450. You can turn it up or down, whatever you like. I like my curls to last for a while and have them hold, so I crank it up. And then it also has this nice swivel cord really really easy to use um, once you get the motion down this goes so quickly I feel like it's faster than curling with a wand or a curling iron because you're not having to sit there and hold it you literally just drop you just twist it and pull twist it and pull so we're gonna go ahead jump straight on into this you're gonna see exactly what I do to get these absolutely spectacular curls using the endless waiver so let's go i am okay with leaving it on the highest heat setting because my hair just curls better that way probably should turn it down but i'm not too worried about it because it's not pinching and pulling and tugging on your hair with this tool your hair is just going to simply glide straight on through it so you can see this is my hair my hair <laughs> i just showered washed my hair and blew it out straight with a round brush i used my color well products as always and let's just go ahead and jump straight on in i am going to use my volume petite i am obsessed with this i can't live without this my hair just doesn't look right if i don't use it so i like to volume before i curl so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take about a a one inch section here and we're just gonna start voluming. You can see I'm holding it straight up and I'm gonna clamp it down. So I am okay to hold it for a second. And again, each time I go down, I add one more on. So I did two clamps, three clamps, the next one I'm gonna do four clamps and I go like all the way down. At least go down to like my, like right to my ear line. Does that make sense? And I put it down like this so it cools in the upward direction so that when I take it down and it's cooled for a second, okay, I'm going through and I'm breaking it up. It just is kind of like cooled up. Kind of think the same way of like flipping your hair upside down and blowing it upside down so that you can get it to cool while it's up. You know, I'm such a thinker. <laughs> get this little piece here that I'm nursing. So I'm gonna, I don't want it to, flex and go over that way so I'm going to leave it there and do the exact same thing on the other side.
Take me, take me back to the night that we first met. Your eyes are mine. I bite my lip. I knew that this okay. was it. Just kind of letting that last section cool down a little bit and then dropping it like it's hot. But it's cooled. <laughs> okay, and then I just take a section from the back that is not going to have any volumes and then just start volumeing. Now on the back, I take it right until I feel that bone, the back of my skull, and that's how far I go down in the back. You'll find what comfort zone works best for you, but that's that's where it's at for me. Okay, so don't worry if you look a little crazy cray at first, because some of it's going to be tamed down when you're going through and doing the waving. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna section my hair f first of all, and I'm gonna clip my hair extensions in as we go each row. So, let's see, that's sad. Here's my bottom weft. You can see it's straight. Okay, so pull that all together. Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay, so, you want to take a smaller section, like it's a little smaller, and it's nice and flat, okay? When I first used this, I was going like this and then pulling it through like a flat iron would. Um, but I, I found it's a lot easier to just go straight up because then the ends don't come through. So see, I'm going straight up and down, and I'm holding the iron straight up and down and I'm gonna do that much of a twist so it flips all the way so the end is licking straight out again. And I'm just gonna go nice and slow, pull it down to the end here. And voila, Ooh. shoving everything around here. Look at that perfect curl, it was so easy. Okay, next section. Usually this bottom section I could do like three. Like three sections each side. Okay, see, now the end all the way forward. And I'm gonna drag it down. If you start feeling like there's some resistance, like I am right now, it's probably too big of a section. But see, wah wah, that doesn't look the greatest let's split that so we'll actually do four on each side and that's okay you can see that's how you learn but the nice thing about this since it doesn't clamp you don't get any like crimps in the hair or in the curl as it goes through. Actually, I think I can do one section out of this. I think so. Boom. And would you look at that? Would you look at those curls? Holy crap. Those are perfect, <laughs> okay? So if you want to, like if you feel like the ends are maybe a little too curly for you, curly Sue, pull the ends together like so, and then just slide it on and pull down. And that'll just kind of tame those ends a little bit. Boom, ba-do. Boom, boom, ba-do. Other side. <laughs> 
always brush it out before each section. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you actually, you know, slot the hair. And I'm just gonna slide it out. Help curl it at the end. It just blows my mind how perfect each little section comes out every single time. Okay, making sure this middle piece is a little smaller than last time. Okay, flipped it all the way, holding it straight up and down till that end is out. Might have been a little too much, but look at that, it's still curled. And no crimps, even though it kind of was a little bit, catching a little bit, it still came out perfectly. Okay, last section for the bottom row. Seriously? Oh my gosh, they're like perfect every single time. <laughs> okay, just kind of taming down my ends because I prefer a little bit of a straighter look. And there's that bottom section all curled. Oh my gosh, so pretty too. And I gotta say like when I use a regular curling iron or wand, it's really hard to get the curls like a little further up the root. That's the first place where they fall out. This lasts like till the next wash. <laughs> Move on to the next section. Here's my next section of extensions. And you can see I have ballooned the top of each weft. because I just love my balloon. Love my volume. That bottom section is pinned out of the way. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing. So I might just end up speeding you up. I mean, every hair tool probably you could say has like a learning curve, especially something that's a little more new and different and innovative like this. But honestly, I feel like it just works so easily. And just so you know, I hold the top of my hair while I slide it through just so it doesn't pull my roots, especially with extensions. I don't want to yank anything out, that's for sure. Just slide it right on down. Boom. So easy. Hold on, it's a little harder to look and see what I'm doing when I'm looking into the viewfinder of a camera. I don't think I got it all that time either. Hold on. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Last section. Another thing I want to say too is like since it is rubberized, like I can touch here and it's hot, but like it's not gonna burn me. Like it's definitely warm, but I'm not gonna get in here and burn my face off. Also, don't judge a curl until you like let it come out and see what it's done. You know what I mean? When it's like kind of still curling in the wrong direction, when you pull it out, I'll show you. Like here, I don't think it looks good until you flip it all together and then there's your perfect ringlet and i'll just smooth out the end a little bit right there What am I doing? <laughs> like I said, computer, computer, wow. Camera viewfinders, see what I'm doing. My gosh. I like tanning my ends with this too because it's like, since it doesn't clamp it, it doesn't make it too straight. It just kind of tames it down. Okay, this is the last section, aka just the very top of my hair, or majority of the voluminages. And now that I'm on my hair, I don't really have to hold it. I just like to hold it where the extensions are. Seriously. And the very front here, I'm just going to do one because I don't like this to be. Hold on. My camera just died. Let me do this part one more time. <laughs> I like to take a bigger piece for the front and I don't curl it quite as much because I don't want it to be like curly sumagu right in the very front. That's not what we about. 
Not me anyways. <laughs> And once you get the hang of like the motion, it goes pretty fast. Let's see. No effort. And with a curling wand, I would have been holding that a lot longer on that section. And this I can just slide through real quick. And on to the next. I definitely don't want this little piece to curl. That one looked good. So, you can see I just kind of like take it halfway. So instead of flipping it so the ends are sticking straight back out front, I just kind of turn it so they're barely bent. I'm just gonna break them up here with my fingers. Now that they've cooled. I actually see in the mirror what I'm looking like. Sometimes these top sections I'll spin it down just a little bit, just so they blend into my extensions a little nicer. See, that's better. This one's still. This is where I like to go through and see if there's any pieces that I want to touch up. That maybe cools a little differently. And this one right here. Right, yes, little guy right here. That's better. At this point, I'll just grab my big sexy hairspray and at least just kind of seal those pieces right here in the front together. And that is it. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my tutorial using the the Loom Endless Waver. See that? Endless Waver right there <laughs> and of course my volume petite iron and that is how I get this super big voluminous hair that waiver is so easy to use and to be able to get consistent and quick results like this it's crazy like if I were to whack, wrap that with a wrap a wap a wiki <laughs> if I were to wrap that on a curling wand and have to hold it forever and let it curl to get this result. And I was just able to slide it on through. Even though you take smaller sections, I still feel like this is faster and more consistent. So you might feel like you have a little bit of a learning curve, but honestly, like once you get past like the first two sections, I think you'll figure it out. I hope that answered any questions that you may have on like how to use this iron, how to get these results like honestly I can't stop looking in the mirror at these curls I feel like I have like mermaid perfect hair and when I curl with a curling iron or a curling wand it's really hard for the curls to actually turn and hold up here and not get like weighed down and straighten out if you use a curling iron you know exactly what I'm talking about because you end up just getting heavy curls more down here as opposed to a curl throughout the whole shaft of the hair. I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm obsessed. I think it is an amazing product. The inventor of the volume said that she 
thought that she just created the world's easiest hair tool and I have to agree. I think it's super easy. Make sure you take smaller sections and you brush out that hair before you guide it through and you be good to go. I mean, need I say more? You could throw some texturizing spray in here, really separate it up, get some like back combing on in. And these curls will last me several days as well. So especially when I will on my roots, everything stays nice and clean and it doesn't get greasy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give a big ol' thumbs up. Leave any comments, requests, questions, anything down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Hit that notification bell right there and join the Ally and Clan and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You're